Hi, I'm Chung Nguyen for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the benchmarks for the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphones. Readers of Gotta Be Mobile will be aware that the Samsung Galaxy S3 internationally is released with a quad-core Samsung Exynos processors. The units that are released in the United States through carriers such as AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon Wireless, US Cellular, and also C Spire will be using Qualcomm's dual-core Snapdragon S4 processor. In early benchmarks, we found that the uh, Snapdragon S4 does provide for a very snappy uh, user experience and user, users will generally not notice that there's any lags or delay. However, let's go ahead and benchmark these devices using um, popular benchmark tools such as Nanomark and Quadrant and compare them to other devices on the market today. I'm going to go ahead and open up Quadrant and it should run through a series of benchmarks. The unit here in white is provided to us via AT&T, so this unit does work on AT&T's GSM, HSPA Plus, and also 4G LTE networks when available. The 4G LTE network speeds are promised to be up to 10 times faster than those of 3G, and up to 3 to 5 times faster than uh, 4G HSPA Plus, which is nice. So this is testing not only for the processor speed, but also some of the graphics capabilities of the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4, which is a dual core chipset. The reason that smartphones in the US are released with dual core uh, S4 processors, such as the HTC One X for AT&T, and also the HTC Evo 4G LTE for Sprint, is because the Qualcomm processor is um, more compatible with uh, US-based carrier networks. So we're going to go ahead and send our re results over the internet and here you can see that our device is here with a score of 3388. The HTC One X here is at the top and it um, tops out at over 4500. You'll also notice that the uh, Motorola Atrix 4G which is a dual core NVIDIA Tegra 2 chipset has a score of roughly between 2500 and 3000. So this device sits somewhere between a dual core NVIDIA Tegra 2 and also a quad core NVIDIA Tegra 3. Um, performance is a little bit closer to the Tegra 2 chipset than the Tegra 3, but um, in real world usage you won't notice much of a difference. Compared to the Galaxy Nexus here, you can see here at the bottom, um, our device does beat that out as well. Let's go ahead and try the Nenomark score, which uh, benchmarks more for uh, graphics capabilities. So we're going to use the Nenomark 2 uh, benchmark test. Let's go ahead and run that. You can see the frame rate is roughly, or it stays roughly close to 30 frames per second. And let's go ahead and see the results. So our average was about 30.3 frames per second on this device. And you can see that's um, slightly below the over 45 frames per second on the T-Mobile version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone. Um, but it does beat out the Galaxy S and the LG Optimus 2X, which is based on Nvidia's Tegra uh, 2 chipset. 
So this is how the Samsung Galaxy S3, the US version with a dual core Snapdragon S4 processor, um, how this device performs to other devices on the market. So this is a quick look at some of the benchmark tests on the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm Chung Wen for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching and join us in other videos covering the Samsung Galaxy S3 in this multi-part video review series.